Hello, hello, everybody. It's an exciting day. Uh, I'm excited about what I'm going to do today. I've been wanting to do this for months, but there was really no pressing issue or reason to. It's midwinter still, but you know what happens in March or late February? Maple syrup time. I know not as many of you guys are as excited about maple syrup as I am. It's kind of like fishing. It's my therapy. Maple syrup is a great hobby, and I love it. I freaking love it. And uh, last year, I had a ton of videos, and I had a really nice setup. The uh, evaporator, my boiler, was sitting right where it is right now. But last year, the pole barn didn't look anything like this. The pole barn last year was a giant pavilion with no sides on it. It didn't have any lean-tos. Both the lean-tos weren't here yet. And it had nothing but tarps all the way around it because we weren't sure exactly what we were doing yet and we ran out of time last fall. So over the summer, we got the barn done. If you guys could give me a woot woot for that. I know a lot of you have been here for a long time and you, you know, I, that was exciting moments getting this barn done. Like, it's pretty important. Cabin is very important, but a pole barn and storage is equally as important in my eyes. So, give me a woot woot, guys, for the uh, pole barn getting done. Pretty exciting, huh? But today, I want to uncover my hibernated pile of maple syrup stuff. And I'm not sure if I'm leaving it there or if I'm going to try to relocate it out to this lean-to. I have to do some measuring and see if it'll fit over here. Um... A lot of people have like sugar shacks, maple syrup, you know, shacks and buildings just for maple syrup. That's awesome. I like being outside. Even though it's cold and stuff and maybe in the long run I'll end up having a sugar shack. I think I'm going to try to actually build one this year. But I want to feel like I'm outside when I'm doing it. Even when it's cold. I don't care. It's just like so relaxing. I want to sit out here and enjoy Peace and quiet and all the beautiful trees and the sunshine. And I don't feel like I'm going to get that when when I'm in the pole barn. Let's go check it out. I'll show you what I mean. Last year. So this is where I maple sap last year. But like I said, I had no walls up. <clears throat> and no lean-to over there. So all I did was fold up the tarps. And I was outside. It was awesome. But I feel like I'm just going to be like not as happy with this here now that it's inside and I'd like to organize this half of the barn a little bit like everything's always a work in progress guys you know how things work around here um, like all this stuff is extra stuff that side of the pole barn is perfect I like it how it is this is like stuff that we might use someday you have to have some extra propane and we got an extra stove and tools and stuff this whole corner has been evaporator mess, boiler for sap. It just hasn't been, it's been tarped off and sitting here since last year. So I'm going to clean this up, see if I can fit it in the lean-to over there and bring my uh, splitter in here. Just reorganize, get us get it set up because we're going to have to be boiling some maple syrup in the next few weeks and I want to be ready for it. So let's go. Pretty fancy looking, huh? 
Not quite as fancy as I remember it. Here's my old buffet catering trays I use with my uh, cinder block system. So let's see if uh, you know, these are, I use these for warmer trays now. Nicely, not without causing some drama. All right, well, it's four foot by four foot with the extra tray to pull off to the side. And this area is barely four foot by seven foot. I'm taking up a lot of space. I'm not going to have a lot of clearance. And I'm going to have like pipes close to wood, which I don't like. All right, I'm going to stare at this for a bit. All right, guys, I stared at it for 10 minutes. I think I am going to try to make this lean-to work because that way I can be outside. It's going to be hard to run the stovepipe out of the pole barn. I have to open the gable end up. And I have to worry about more pipe and more drama. So I think I got to figure it out. Let's get this thing moved over here. I don't know how that's going to work because I had trouble moving it before when it there was no snow. Maybe I can use the sled somehow. I'll figure it out. I'm gonna clean this lean to out first though so I can have a nice clean space. Alright guys, I'm sitting here staring at this boiler. It's basically four foot by four foot with the little stand on the side that has to come out for the pan. This is the hot part, obviously, where the firebox is at. And it's a little bit deeper than four foot. But uh I'm trying to figure out how to fit it. I need space around it. You know, I need to be able to walk all the way around it. So really I need this huge space. So I'm thinking of just leaving it here now, but I have to, I don't want to really do this in my pole barn. There's too many sparks and too many other things to deal with. So my other option is this lean-to area that I cleaned out, but it's not big enough. Like it'll be tight. And hot stuff will be against that metal wall or close to it. Uh, I'm, I'm going to bring it over here. But my other thought, and this would just be temporary, I was thinking of sticking some 2x4s in here and bringing out like three more feet of metal. Like put just one sheet of roofing metal up there to get me out another three feet. And then... <laughs> extensions on extensions on extensions so hang out with me for one minute i'm gonna stick some two by fours in there and see if i can make this work it would obviously just be temporary because and i would take it down once i'm done doing maple sap so let's check this out let's try it
right, guys. There's my three foot overhang. So all I have to do is smack a piece of metal up here. And I have three more feet times eight. Another 24 square feet. Oh, 32. Ooh, no, three times. Okay. Yeah. Another 24 square feet. So cool. Now they're 24 square feet. So I can bring this out. Cool. I'm definitely bringing it, the boiler over here now. Everybody, how awesome you think I am? <laughs> look what, look what I'm gonna do. Just for while I do syrup. Gonna like extend it? Yeah. With some extra metal or something? Yeah, I'm gonna put one sheet of metal up there, one eight-foot piece of metal. What do you think? Come that over work? here. Come over here for one second. So, what do you think of my brilliant idea? That could work. That gives me enough space because it was too cramped in there because I gotta be able to walk all the way around it. Yeah. And, I, and I don't want I don't want the flames that close to all that wood anyway. Yeah, that's I don't want to burn down my barn. So that's good. Good idea? Mm-hmm. Gives me an extra 24 square feet of space. And then I'm outside. Yeah. And I can sit in there and stare out at it. That's good. I gotta go feed the birds. Blue Mr. Blue Jays. They are making a hot mess, but they're eating it all, so. And you gotta work for a little bit? Yeah, I gotta work basically till the rest of the night. Okay. I'll be in in a little bit. I gotta get this boiler in here, hopefully. Okay. Right. I'll take this down. We gotta find something we can hang that on. I must have moved this last year with Jenny with all the stones in it. I thought I took some of them out, but obviously not. It's pretty light now that there's no brick in it at all. Pretty light-ish. Should be able to lift this by myself now. Yep. All right. to turn it this way or this way.
All right, guys. <laughs> that was a bit of a process. Trying to get that, trying to get that level. So hopefully I don't have to move it at all from there. It's a little close to this corner pole, about a foot away from that pole. So I'll probably put a sheet of metal with an air gap between it just to ricochet the heat. But I don't want it all the way out here because then the weather can get in there. Like if it snows or something, it'll get in there. So anyway, I think I'm going to throw a sheet of metal up here just to get it, the idea. And so I could try to hook up the uh, chimney pipe a little bit. So hang out with me for a little bit. I know this isn't the most exciting thing in the world for everybody, but I like hanging out with you guys. I hope you do try to make this a fun little insert <laughs> All right, guys, it doesn't look pretty, but I have the chimney pipe coming up. And it, I did this last year. I have a single wall piece of six inch going through a double wall insulated. It's like the old school stuff. This stuff does get a little, a little warmer than the new triple wall. Like the triple wall has basically a six inch in the middle an air gap, another wall at like seven inches, insulation, and then an outer eight inch wall. So it's like called triple wall for a reason. This I think is old insulated double wall, like eight inch. So it does get a little hot on the outside, but not enough to where you can't touch it. So it being a little bit close to these two will be okay. And it's outside a pole barn. It's not gonna. It's gonna be two two by fours and metal roofing, so it's not gonna like catch the roof on fire or anything. So I'm gonna get a couple sheets of metal and try to see if I can make something work here. So this is ready to go, and I gotta put my brick back in. Beautiful day, guys. This is the first sunny day we've had in weeks. I think we had one last week, but we were downstate. So it's like, this is wonderful. This is like nice. <laughs> nice to be outside and have a little sunshine. Put you in a, put you in a good mood. So, and I'm working on a maple syrup evaporator. So I'm ready in a few weeks.
All right, thought maybe I could use this. I bought this at the Habitat for Humanity for like seven bucks. I could uh, modify it, it's just too small. It must be, it says made in Canada. So maybe it's in mill, you know, maybe it's metric rather than that size eight inch pipe. Or maybe that pipe's just bigger than standard stuff now. So anyway, I could make this work, but this isn't permanent. This is just for one more year and then I'll have hopefully something better set up next year. Unless this works great, then I'll just keep doing this. I'd like something permanent where I don't have to ever move this again. But anywho, all right, I'm gonna get some sheets of metal and try something. All right, guys, because I have all this extra gray metal that I'm going to use for the skirting for the cabin, I have, like, literally tons of it, way more than I need. It's all in three-foot sections, three-foot by three-foot. I'm going to pencil off on either side of this pipe so I know how wide it is. I'm just going to cut a chunk out. A little bit of snow and water will get in here, but not too terrible bad. Right, guys it doesn't look pretty but and it's not forever it just kind of I mean it'll keep out 90% of everything Right, guys I'll probably take this elbow off and put that cap on it's not draft appropriate but it'll if I take that off I might be able to take it up actually another stick or two also so it'll get up a little bit higher I don't like it being right next to this pine tree either last year I was a little sketchy on that too but anyway I'll make sure it's safe before the final draft, guys. <laughs> so, so the cool thing is, is this should all go on. I mean, it all went on in an hour or two, and it should all come apart even easier. So, so I like it. Let's show it to you from the ground. All right, safe and sound, back on the ground. <laughs> so, there we go. A little three foot by eight foot hangover. Or overhang pretty cool that'll give me just enough space hopefully we don't have like death storm winds if we do I could put a couple sheets of metal along here like as a wall if I have to but I like the open feel I like doing this in the open I'll get the Jeep out of here 
I'll get the Jeep out of here in the spring once the snow is gone enough. I tried to get it down the hill and I waited one day too long. We had ice on the hill and I was, I tried, I went to the hill and I was just slipping and sliding. So I <laughs> creeped back up here backwards and put her there. She's gonna, she's gonna stay there until the snow's gone. Kind of ugly and stuff, but anyway. So yeah, this is it. So now I can get in here good. I can sit in here where I'm clean and or where I'm dry and the warm air will probably flow this way and I can just chill out and look over all my goodies and my woods and my solar and my woods. I just sit here and chill out. I'm pretty excited. It's my favorite part. So let me finish this up guys. It's getting dark. It's getting dark. So I could just put up, I'll just put my chair right here. <laughs> This is my favorite part about maple sapping. These nice sunny evenings that are so quiet. You get to watch the sunset as you're boiling sap. <laughs> 